Hey y'all, Irix Sky here. And within this video, I wanna talk about why I went with a CVT, continuous variable transmission in my Acura Integra. Why did I go with a CNT, a CVT rather, instead of a, uh, of a manual transmission? Well, the CVT achieves excellent fuel economy. I can just use the cheapest gas. They probably recommend using something better, but I just use the cheapest gasoline I can find and uh, it's still not cheap. It's less expensive, I guess I should say. But uh, went with the CVT so I don't have to deal with... Now this particular car, this 2024 Acura Integra that you're looking at right now, a lot of people preference the manual transmission because it's really fun to drive. I'm not, I mean, I like cars, but I'm not a big manual transmission dude just because I don't wanna to have to deal with shifting the gears. I'd rather just have an automatic have some performance, have a good looking vehicle, but, uh, you know, but have something that, that I don't have to, I mean, obviously you gotta concentrate while you're driving, but I don't wanna have to think about shifting gears. I just wanna drive and I can do that with this. So CVT, it's, it's, uh, it's 200 horsepower, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it gets the job done and I can pass other cars on the, on the interstate without a problem. And it, like I said, again, it's, it's, uh, excellent fuel economy and the best thing is it's not an ev i hate that ev electric vehicle junk they're overpriced and you go down the road with those and you go on a road trip and it's like oh man there's no place to recharge and then you find a place like oh it doesn't work <laughs> guess i'll get stuck on the side of the road good luck having somebody bring you a can of gas if you're driving an ev you're just stuck <laughs> so there's several reasons why i went with the cvt but I mean, I don't know. If you're if you're a car enthusiast, you're probably going to want to go with the manual because you want the, you know, the enhanced driver connection because the, the manual transmission brings to the table. But I mean, like I said, I just went with the CVT because I want a good fuel economy. I've still got a phenomenal looking vehicle, but I get great fuel economy. I don't have to deal with shifting uh, gears, and like I said, it's none of that electric EV junk. So if they had offered this, if Honda offers this as a hybrid in the future, I would be very interested in a uh, hybrid Ac Acura Integra because that would be, you know, if they release that, it should be even more fuel efficient than this CVT uh, VTEC. I mean, it should should be. So I, I'll be interested to see if, uh, if Honda offers the Acura Integra with a hybrid option in the near future. I hope they do. Now, if they ever offer it as an EV, I'll never buy an Acura Integra again. But uh, yeah, I like the CVT and this is why I chose the Acura Integra with the CVT. Which one did you choose or have you chosen one? Or maybe you're on the fence. Should I go manual transmission? Should I go CVT or should I get the S, the Acura Integra type S and get all that extra horsepower and also have a trans manual transmission? Tell me what you think within the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell when you do to check out all my other videos. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.